Good Tuesday, everybody. It is uh, November the 16th of 2021, and this is your important information for the week. Uh, first up, ASTs after school tutoring. Those resume tomorrow. Friday was our midterm, so we've got midterm grades. And also, we're deep enough uh, to really know who is, uh, well, maybe risking not staying within the attendance policy. So a uh, reminder that ASTs are mandatory. And when I say mandatory, the consequence for not going is that you risk losing your seat here. Remember, students can't have consecutive terms of attendance violations or not earning credits um, because that's when we need to make room for new people. Um, and that's not a pretty situation, but it's a practical one. Uh, we need students who are who have this opportunity to take advantage of it. And if you are not, again, we've built in a number of layers uh, of safety nets um, so that we uh, don't unnecessarily take an opportunity away from someone, uh, you know, who for reasons out of their control could, couldn't do a thing. Um, there are enough safety nets built into our system that this is never a surprise that you've been talked about it a number of times. We've probably even written a contract um, that to, to make absolutely sure that you know about your situation. So uh, those are mandatory for attendance violators. And I will be speaking with you individually today um, and anyone not passing a class. And I'll be talking to you as well. So we have midterm grades. We know who at midterm isn't passing. You need that time to rehabilitate your grade. That is not just trading um, time for time, although it is a one to one a painful ratio. Um, you need to have four of those to make up one day. So some of you, if you are already over on attendance, um, you'll be going to AST for the rest of the term every time or else. Um, and yeah, that's not nice, but this is making clear to you that what we do during our school day is super, super important. That is where teachers spend their time and effort to craft wonderful, engaging lessons. Uh, it, missing those, it means you are not doing um, what you need to do to be successful here. So um, again, I never want to hear you say, oh, I'm just going to do my work from home because the assignment you turn in at the end of a 90 minute activity does not encompass uh, what you learn in the in class experience. So um, again, those are mandatory. You know the consequence uh, if you if you fail to meet your obligations. Attendance PSA. It is way too early in the shortest term of the year to be out of attendance days. Um, you know there are legitimate reasons to miss school. There are also illegitimate reasons uh, to miss school, and some of you have abused our attendance policy and are already out of days. Um, you're putting yourself in a precarious situation. Um, so uh, I want you to know that if you are over on attendance this term, we will absolutely hold your credits. Um, there will be no grace uh, this term. And uh, you'll have an attendance contract. Uh, if you don't already have one, I, th I'm not going to confuse that issue, but <clears throat> um, two consecutive terms of not staying within the attendance policy will mean you'll be dropped from our program. Um, know that. We just have too many people missing school. Don't miss school. You need to be here. Uh, FAFSA reschedule. Uh, that is the Federal Application for Student Aid. And um, we had uh, an appointment with the trio experts from Crowder. Um, I think th there was an incident that came up. We had to postpone that. That is taking place tomorrow. Hang on. Mr. Martin's here. I got to go let him in. Can I pause? All right. FAFSA reschedule. Um, what that means is I want you to today, like I know it's been a minute since we did this, review your materials. We, you made a copy of a document that is kind of a guide with some links on it. Uh, you probably started to get your FSA ID if you didn't finish that. You may have a save code from actually starting the FAFSA application. Um, but uh, I want you to review that stuff today. Make any progress, last progress you can with your parents tonight, you know, including retrieving tax returns, um, asset statements, whatever the, uh, you know, things you need to have so that you can bring your questions tomorrow and be ready to have them answered. 
Again, we have access to experts. We need to take advantage of this time. It is best to have uh, made as much progress as we can ourselves so that we're efficient with that time tomorrow. Um, if you are at a point in that meeting where you can't make any more progress and you are just occupying space, uh, you will be dismissed back to class. We are going to try to, uh, like I say, not waste time with that and deal with as many individual cases as we can. <clears throat> panorama, sur panorama surveys. Um, this is a district initiative, um, part of our push uh, to embrace social emotional learning. And I know we've taken a lot of surveys recently and there's some fatigue that comes with that, but uh, I want you to take this seriously, um, read carefully and take your time. Um, this is an important tool um, that we've invested in and are gonna use. And so that link is on the Team Tuesday page. Um, like I say, try to answer those questions faithfully. Uh, we're giving you time to do this uh, after this video. And that link, like I said, is on the Team Tuesday page. You use your student ID number as your access code. Uh, and then cat time is fourth block this Friday. Um, so, and I think the weather looks pretty decent, so we may have an outside group for that. Um, but that's the plan. And I believe that is it uh, for this meeting right now. Hope you have a good rest of your Tuesday. And see you later.